Back in 2008, we developed uh, photo DNA. It was a hashing technology that allowed us to identify any image in a sea of really billions and billions of images. At the time when we developed that, we knew that we were going to have to start thinking eventually about how to do similar technology with video and audio. So eGlyph, which was developed uh, with the Counter Extremism Project, is a technology that takes photo DNA and it adapts it to be able to extract these signatures from video and audio recordings. So that was sort of the, the breakthroughs with the eGlyph technology is it allowed us to simultaneously analyze images, video, and audio, and be able to remove them based on these, these compact signatures and do it very accurately and very fast. Like with photo DNA, we offered this technology for free. The tech company said, we're not gonna do this. We are going to use our own hashing technology. Developing technology to moderate content is not a money-making adventure. It's a way of dealing with the pressure from the public, but it is not where the core emphasis is. So I think that's the role of the CEP. It's the role of academics. It is the role of legislators to start insisting that more get done. Prior to our development of eGlyph, the tech company says there's nothing we can do about terror content. And as soon as we developed eGlyph and publicized it, well, guess what? they developed similar technology and have claimed to be develop, uh, deploying it and, and using it. So I think we moved the, the, the needle on that and forcing the companies to acknowledge that they could do better.